Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever the hell you happen to be watching this, ladies and gentlemen of the vinyl community, tis I, Connor, once again, and today I shall be talking to you, well, showing you, I'd normally say, be talking to you about, but today I shall be showing you my recent CD and vinyl pickups. Four times the charm, here we go. We're starting off with Sonata Arctica. You saw these guys pop up in my Power Metal Essentials video. So yeah, I am showing the CDs first because I do have some vinyl down there too. Um, I'd normally do it the other way around because I'm more of a CD guy than a vinyl guy, but you know. The vinyl is really special this time, so that is why they are being shown second. So yeah, Sonata Arctica is Eclitica. I mentioned this album in the last video, but I also had it at the filming of the last video. Silence. But I didn't want to spoil that, because I wanted to show it off here. Along with their third album, Winter Hearts Guild. I've done this video four times, so you'd think I'd know the name of this album by now, but I don't. <laughs> and finally we have Reckoning Night. So that's their first four albums, this one being their fourth. Silence being their second, Winter Hearts Guild being their third. Right, now we have um, this, which is a, an album which I've been wanting for the longest time, and that is Thundersteel by Riot. This is one of the greatest metal tracks of all time in the form of Thundersteel itself. It is amazing. And um, the band Rhapsody, well one of the many versions of that band, did a cover of Thundersteel, an orchestral version, and wow, listen to that. Um, it's mind-blowing. So yeah, Riot Thundersteel in Trifold Digipack form, two discs. Love that album. Even though I don't really think the album topped the title track throughout its runtime, but yeah. That's a good idea for a video actually. Albums that did that. Anyway, now we're going to thrash metal, like balls deep into thrash, with Havoc and Time Is Up, which is their uh, second album. I've not heard this yet, but that will change. And I have also not heard Unnatural Selection. I just wanted these albums so I can complete their discography, because I also own a copy of V. I know it's five, but it sounds better saying V. It is also in a trifold digipack. And it also comes with a patch, which I didn't know that was there until I filmed this video for the first time. So yeah, that patch will be going on my thrash metal themed battle jacket, or it will be preserved inside the digipack. They're my second favourite modern thrash metal band, by the way, Havoc. My first, number one, the big one, being Warbringer. These guys are the Titties, honestly, love Warbringer and Weapons of Tomorrow. I'm not going to spell my opinion because uh, my next video is going to be the top albums of 2020, which you will not want to miss. I know it's a bit late, but I was waiting for all these albums to arrive. Now we have the return of Seraph Ungol, who are a um, old school. Heavy Metal Band, which has not released an album in over 30 years, but here we go, with this album Forever Black. Yep, again my opinions on this will not be spoiled. Along with my opinions on Fields of Blood by Gravedigger, the third in their Scotland trilogy, which makes me a happy boy because I'm from Scotland. More albums about Scotland, please. <laughs> Especially the power metal albums about Scotland. Because Glory Hammer's three albums are about Scotland, and these guys have three albums about Scotland. Hmm. I'm sensing a theme here. 
Yeah, with Gravedigger I started with Heavy Metal Breakdown, and I wasn't a fan, pardon me, of the vocals initially. So I went a bit further into their discography and filmed albums like The Reaper, Heart of Darkness, and Excalibur. And yeah, that is where I fell in love with these guys. I'm addicted to listening to Excalibur, by the way. Um, that album is incredible. I will not be spoiling my opinions on that, because 2020 album... Right, this should be my final time recording this, so... <sighs> should be, unless I fuck up again. <laughs> Here we go with uh, Titans of... Wow. The New Order by Testament. Um, yep, favourite album from the band. That track list is almost unbeatable. Because there are... Two... Instrumentals here. Yeah. Um, if uh, Musical Death was uh, a proper song, I think I would love love this album a bit more. Like the lyrics to it. I didn't make it perfect. But this album is actually perfect. Even if you have the instrumentals on it. So, yeah. The New Order. Next up. Which is not going to be confused with the New Order, <laughs> like I confused it with that, and this is Titans of Creation. Yep, their 2020 album, I'm not spoiling my opinion on it, but I think you would guess because I already own it on CD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw them live, supporting this album as well. They played Children of the Next Level and Night of the Witch. Which are two of the best songs on it. I, I think that this album... Oh wait, no. Spoilers. I'll talk to you about that when it comes to that video, which I'll be recording, recording after this. Yeah, Titans of Creation. It is on a gatefold, which I will quickly show you. By quickly, I mean... <clears throat> nah, I'll, I'll do it properly for you. There you go. There's all the lyrics. No insert to worry about. Things with some gatefolds is that they do come with inserts with the lyrics, other gatefolds don't. And why are you being an absolute sausage to be back in here? <laughs> That'd be something that went wrong with this recording. It's not exactly wrong, it's just a pain in the arse to sometimes get these in the sleeves. Things of creation. Okay, I can tell you about this album because I may not do a discovery review for these bad boys. Oh. Fourth time recording this and showing you this heavy as fuck <laughs> album. Not not that it is in itself it is in itself heavy as Aqualon by Jeff Hotel. It's because the actual thing itself is rather heavy. For what it is. It's a digibook. Which I didn't think they did for vinyl, but here I am holding one. So they do. I'm trying to get this to work. To show you some of the inside of this. Yeah, it just tells you about the band, about how the album was made and about how influential it is. I may actually do a separate video talking to you about this album because it is really that good. I dress with all of my favourite band outside of heavy metal so I would definitely recommend for you to check out these guys. Um, yeah. Oh by the way, another little ditty about this. This is a 40th anniversary release. I also own on CD as well. Um, it's the exact same version. Um, fucking don't fall back there. Thank you. <laughs> yep, Aqualon. Okay, um, that is it. Oh, another little ditty for you. The Riot CD is the 30th anniversary. 
could have said it earlier, but I forgot. So yes. Um, thank you guys for watching this shorter than usual video, and I hope you will tune in for my best of 2020. And I shall talk to you guys then. And as always, rock on, bitches.